Hi you guys, another quick video on the HTC One X and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, since the over the air update uh, started rolling out on Friday, a few people have been asking uh, about the frames per second on the video recording on the HTC One X. I've taken a few quick videos, they're nothing spectacular uh, and we're going to try and uh, see what sort of frame rates we get. Both videos shot in uh, full 1080p both about 35-40 seconds long so we're just going to give them a whirl and just see uh, how we get on this first is the uh, video shot on the HTC One X uh, you can see it's just a basic landscape uh, video round and about uh, don't look at my video and skills the uh, purpose of this video is sh uh, just uh, purely for the uh, frames per second frame rate so I'm not looking for any awards for uh, video in here so it's just a quick video I took uh, similarly in both uh, phones so we'll let the uh, HTC One X finish first. As the HTC One X finished, so we'll uh, go back to the home screen of the HTC One X. We'll quickly fire up the uh, Samsung, and we'll do the same. We'll unlock the screen of the Samsung, and we've got the uh, same video on the screen. I'll say similar videos shot at the same time, and we'll play the video on the uh, Samsung. I say don't look at my video and skills there, it's purely to uh, get the frame rates. Uh, purposely moving the, uh, both phones around quite quickly uh, to see if the uh, frame rates stutter or uh, we get a different impression when we uh, do the test in a minute. So that's the uh, Samsung finished. And what we'll do now, we'll uh, go back to the home screen and we'll use the multitasking tab to open a program called uh, VidTrim. And I'll just check we're on the, uh, the right uh, video. There we go. Right. Results for the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 are picture size 1920 1080p, file size 81 megabytes. Frame rate uh, 29.94 frames per second, pretty consistent to what the uh, Samsung has shown before. Uh, what I will say is the file size is 81 megabytes and the duration, if we need to remember that, is 40 seconds just so we can compare. So just put that to one side. We'll do the same thing on the uh, HTC One X. We'll unlock this device as well. Uh, we'll go to multitasking. Long press now for the new multitasking, and we'll go to VidTrim again. And you can see straight away the uh, VidTrim application uh, refresh there, showing there's still a problem with the multitasking. I'll uh, we'll go down to the uh, bottom video on the list. There we go. Details coming up shortly, and the details on the uh, One X duration slightly less 35 seconds, a few seconds less. Picture size 1920 1080p again, file size 46 megabytes. So you can see it's almost half the size of the uh, file on the Samsung Galaxy S3, although that's slightly, slightly longer. Uh, long been known that the HTC One X does uh, compress files in video and uh, picture formats. But the uh, big thing that we want to look at <coughs> is the frame rates per second underneath is 23.62, which basically shows us since the uh, international update on the HTC One X. Uh, the frame rate on the video camera still remains uh, well under 30 frames per second and uh, has not been addressed in the update. So a few things have been up to addressed in the update. The uh, phone itself very very quick, quadrant scores very very high. Uh, highest of that is 6100 on quadrant, absolutely uh, blistering speeds. Day to day usage things on the phone like multitasking, the camera and the video camera Still a few problems, but I'm sure uh, HTC will be working on these and maybe with uh, Jelly Bean in a few months' time we'll get a fix on these. Anyway, please leave comments below, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll get more videos out in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye.